Alright guys, so I'm outside at my hydroponic setup about to hook things up for the plumbing and be able to power our pump for that. So I can get this charge controller to max out about 14.1, 14.2 volts, so I'm really happy with that. And uh, that means I'm charging the batteries completely. And all that's left to do now is hook this stuff up. So I've got a few things that I need to be able to do that here with me. So I have a 12 volt timer and this is the same thing that you would have for your you know standard 120 volt timers that you'd use with your house. This one is specifically designed for the 12 volt batteries. So uh, these ones are more expensive than your 120 volts although I've seen this very same model range from 20 to 70 dollars so depending on where you can find this uh, you might be able to get a good price on it. I've got a 12 volt pump this one is about 200 gallons per hour it says so that should be enough to work for this table here and I am doing flood and drain for this and that's good for the solar power setup because I'm only using the pump for you know minutes at a time every day so it's not really going to be too hard on the battery. I do have also a 12 volt uh, air pump that I'll hook up and I might try running that all day depending on how much it drains the battery so I'll keep an eye on that for a couple days. I'll be putting some clips on the end of my uh, water pump here that will allow me to connect it to the timer. And next I will run the power cable that goes from the battery to the timer and then it'll be the timer deciding when the pumps go on and when the pumps go off. Alright, so fast forward a few hours, uh, a little help from the internet and a little help from a user called Sworn Absent on YouTube who's running a very similar system. I figured out the wiring for this thing, the manual wasn't that great, but got it figured out now and it's looking pretty good. If I take this timer now and set it to manually turn on, I can test the pump to see if it's actually working. So I have my pump and a bucket of water. I'll just put it in there and turn it on. Similarly with this 12 volt air pump, I can just modify the cable so I can connect it to my battery. And this thing will be running 24 seven. Hopefully it won't drain the battery. So my 12 volt air pump is connected and if I turn it on, it's uh, pretty loud. So I might look at something else here. I know there's better quality ones than this, but it does work. And uh, it does make some bubbles. So now that that works, I got pretty much all my hardware working. I just have to program my timer and I'll save that for another video but uh, before we go here let's just check out the plants see how they're doing. So lately it seems that my green thumb has turned into a black thumb of death. Last couple days I had a few plants die on me, thought the risk of frost was gone, but turns out I was wrong and I lost a few plants including uh, those backup Atlantic Giants that I had growing. Even though that genetically superior uh, giant pumpkin I had growing was outside with the backup ones, uh, you'll be happy to know that it is still alive and it is still pushing out some new leaves so I think it's on its way to recovering and it's almost ready to be put into its uh, hydroponic system. So despite the frost, I still have a lot of plants left here to grow. So pretty happy with that. And uh, just a matter of putting them in, waiting for the right time. And that time will come. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.